Morning, cyber friends, Mitty Man, coming back at you from Walker's Music with yet another word for the day. We like to say we give God the honor, we give Him all the praise for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. People, we could have been the other way, but God saw fit to keep old Mitty Man here for one more day, and we give Him honor. Also, to the YouTube fam from Baby Justice, all the way up to Big Papa JT, as well as Mama JT, y'all know the routine. We love you, ain't nothing you can do about it. Also to the end time harvest gang, Brother L.A. from Kingdom Knowledge, L. LeBranco McCray, uh, Lexus 777, Brother P.P. Drawing, Brother Harden Cliff, Brother and Papa J.T., Little Brother Orange Flavor, Leonard and Kate, as well as our sister Linda of that New York City. We just want to say that we uh, give all of y'all your accolades and we give you your honor. Glad to have you as part of my circle. I'm glad to be a part of your circle. Want to say also, want to give a special shout out here to, this morning to our brother Leonard out there in Missouri. I hope I'm getting that right, Leonard. Um, I think uh, you, I remember once we was talking, you know, you said he was from the Missouri area. You know, I think that's what you told me. I hope so. But I know you're out there in the Midwest. It's got to be Nebraska and Missouri. But at any rate, we just want to say we want to give you a special shout out this morning, man. Uh, Enjoyed last day, man. Well, I should say earlier this morning, man. We was me and Leonard was on the doing some screen capture and uh, did a screencast, and Brother Leonard was showing me the ins and outs of this here uh, software called Fruity Loops. And I mind you, I know we didn't. He only touched the surface of it, but that is a, some serious software. So if anybody in the music production. And you're looking for something that you can really get the job done. I can see from just from the thing that Brother Leonard showed me last night about that software. And that software is very well underrated. I believe that. And I mean, Brother Leonard has not shown me just only little things just yet. And I mean, he's only scratched the surface, I'm quite sure. Because I have had, I've heard of the uh, software before. But never they had anyone that sat down like he did. And he went into the application himself and just showed the ins and outs of it. And uh, we uh, we just saying we uh, really appreciate that. We enjoyed it. And we're looking forward to doing some more things like that, Brother Leonard. That's what it's all about. Like you said, man, it's all about sharing and helping. And no one knows it all. I try to tell people that. None, none of us get The only somebody knows everything is the Holy Spirit. Point, point blank. And so we can all learn from each other, and we should. As a matter of fact, our brother JT was speaking one time about how he uses Cubase. Everybody got their own little thing that they use. And whatever is that you can use the best to make your workflow be faster, that's what we should use. And I'm just, I, like I said, I thank God for you as well as Brother JT. And, you know, cause like I said, Brother JT got a lot of videos up, uh, tutorials. And I tell everybody that if they want to learn certain songs and want to be able to jump up real quick and play, some things in their local church and you know want to be a part of the survey they want to be they want to contribute all they have to do is just uh, take some time out and learn and go and the tutorials are there and brother JT explains stuff just as brother Leonard was explaining all uh, Fruity Loop you go there and you get you spend some time in it and therefore you can learn so with all that said I just wanted this you know I had to give both of you your shout outs and everything and let you everybody know this uh, use the resources that are available to us and if you're not getting anything, it's not, it's not, it's really your fault because the, the internet is full of help. And so with that said, a middle man just going to say that uh, we are, we are enjoying, to the best of his ability, enjoying the Holy Week. And uh, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we know that uh, it's over 2,000 years ago, this week, you know, our Lord was getting ready to go up for, be the suffer and die for the sins of the world. And uh, we know, as a matter of fact, they have played the Passion of the Christ on yesterday, I think. And uh, yesterday afternoon they played it and uh, I watched it. And it's uh, very touching, but it doesn't even really do justice to the actual event, people. But they are only just trying to give us something, an idea of how it was. But uh, our Lord and Savior suffered very tremendously. The price of our salvation, people, was very, very high. And we should not take it lightly. In other words, we should not take it. If we neglect so great a salvation, people, 
Nobody gonna, gonna, it's not going to be anybody's fault but our own. So this is how I come out and say, we must, let us, let us take what Jesus, let us receive it. And the sacrifice he made, all the torture he went through, the beatings, and the ridicule, spit upon, crown of thorns on his head. And I mean, just, just, just brutally, you know, just brutally, just, just, uh, uh, persecuted our Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And, uh. We can't even imagine the pain and the suffering he went through. But nevertheless, he done it. So that I might have a right to the tree of life. That you may have a right to the tree of life. And guess what, people? That's all God sees. God doesn't see our little bit of so-called works and stuff. He tells us that in the scripture. Not a work lest any man should boast. Nobody's going to boast in glory in front of God. God's going to see what his son done. That's it. That's all that God sees. If God saw me, I'd be messed up. Oh, yes. I don't know about you, but I know I would be messed up if God saw me. But thank God for Jesus. God only sees the blood. And it's just like Jesus was that Passover lamb. He said, wherever I see the blood, that's what I'm going to pass over. So with that being said, people, let us thank God for Jesus. Let us thank God for him. And Father, let us, let us, let us y'all, let us just accept and receive the, the free gift. It's free, people. But it does cost you. It costs you your life. I give up my little so-called life for his. That let him live his life through me. That we may serve each other. People, it's all about a servitude. We are servants of the Most High God. And we need to do it by what? God looks at me, how I treat JT, how I treat Brother L.A., how I treat Sister Elect 777, how I treat Sister Kate, how I treat Brother Leonard, how I treat Brother Papa JT. That's what God looks at Mitty Man for. He don't look at you for what Mitty Man is supposed to do. He looks at Mitty Man and that service, that servitude. My life is supposed to be consumed in what I can do for you. Not for what you can do for me, but what I can do to serve you. And guess what? Your mission is for you, what you could do to serve somebody else outside of yourself. If we could get that picture, that's what Jesus said. A servant is not greater than his master. But he lowered himself to wash his disciples' feet. He did it as an example. He said, now look at me. I am the master, but look what I'm doing to you. Now, you mean to tell me you can't do it to each other? Because you see, we are all servants. Jesus is our captain. We say we follow him. So how come we can't do like him? If Jesus could humble himself and wash his disciples' feet, then what are we doing, people? <laughs> Why are we so hard? Why can't we humble ourselves to do so? We get, we, we have, we a whole grudge against person for 40 and 50 years. So I'm, well, you know, you don't know what they done to me. I know what they done to Jesus. But yet and still on that cross, Jesus' Father forgive them. For they don't know what they're doing. And now, somebody didn't give me a piece of bubble gum. And now I got, I've been holding something over somebody's head for 20 years. Over a stick of chewing gum. <laughs> People, come on, let's get real. Whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God's not in it, best of you come on out of it. This is Mitty Man saying peace and goodbye.